Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtech. If you're trying to add MP3 files to the music app on your iPad, let me be real with you, it's possible. But it's not as simple as just dragging and dropping files. The only official way to do it is by using a computer. You'd need to sync your music library from a Mac or Windows PC using iTunes or Finder and transfer the files over a cable. Personally, I don't love that method because it's a bit outdated and not as convenient as it should be. If you're really interested in using the official Apple method, I've made a separate tutorial on how to do it on an iPhone. It works exactly the same for an iPad. You can find the link in the description if you want to go through that process step by step. But if you are open to alternatives, I think there's a much easier way to manage and play MP3 files on an iPad. My favorite method is using VLC Media Player, which is a free app available in the App Store. Unlike the Apple Muse, um, music app. VLC lets you add and play MP3 files directly on your iPad without needing a computer. Once you download and install VLC, you'll notice that the app is completely empty at first. There are no files inside. Um, the app provides a few, sur few suggestions on how to add music, but the simplest way is by using the built-in files app on your iPad. When VLC is installed, a new VLC folder appears inside the Files app, the one with the blue folder icon. Any MP3 file or other media you place inside this VLC folder will automatically show up in the VLC app. This makes it incredibly easy to manage your music without dealing with iTunes, cables, or syncing. You can download or transfer MP3 files, move them into this folder, and instantly play them in VLC. It works with any file format, so it's a much more flexible option compared to Apple Music. So if you're looking for the fastest and easiest way to add MP3s to your iPad, VLC is definitely the way to go. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Foxtech for more iPad and Apple tips. Thanks for watching, and see you later.